How you doing everybody? Seems like Hobson are giving us a lot to work on. Um, after it was actually yesterday's updates that I done, I seen that Marcus Crawford and a couple of others had put on that the camera FPV has also been updated. So this morning I put that onto the SD card, uploaded the firmware into the drone. Everything is showing up on the app. All the new firmware updates. So of all the calibrations done, I'm going to put it up. I have to be careful. I have a helicopter. The police helicopters flying about at the minute, so I can't go too high. Obviously, I'll stay pretty local here, pretty low, and see how everything's working. So I will press record, get it up in the air, see what happens. Hopefully you could see that the drone done a small drop, didn't do that the last time, but it seems very, very stable. So we'll do our usual, oh, away again, let's fly forward. Hopefully you can see that it only does that dip to the ground when it's very low. When it's up, what's that, 7 meters, there's no drop in altitude. Um, I'm going to bring it out and hopefully it shows up, it flying straight. No carbon at all. Gimbal working fine. Turn it around. Gonna go up in altitude. Fly forward. Still going in a straight line, going well. We'll hit the return to home. It's going up to its 30 meters. Turning back round, so hopefully it flies straight back and doesn't do any crabbing. It is flying into the wind, but no, perfectly straight. Perfectly straight again. So I'm going to cancel the return to home. I'm at 62% again, so quickly try and lose the distance again so back over to the usual spot I'll go up to 40 meters let's go to 50 so I'll stay away from the trees Have a look around
take the shortest route. I am going straight into the wind by the way. Seven hundred meters. Slight break up. Screen looks a wee bit fuzzy. Still doing okay. Nine hundred meters. This is where I lost the FPV yesterday. So Aircraft disconnected, 1,043 meters. On the screen you can see it's turned back the way it was coming from and it's in return mode, GPS hold mode. So, yep, doing exactly what it's meant to. I'm going to press return to home. And it's coming straight back. So, hopefully, you can see it's doing everything that it should. Loses connection, turns around, comes home. As soon as it gets connection again, goes into GPS hold mode and stays where it is. And then you can either do what you were doing or press return to home and come back. So you can see it's really working well now. And as I said, mine, there's no crabbing, have no issues with anything. Hopefully the it's recording onto the SD. I was having problems with that yesterday. Possibly, it's more than likely that it was my fault. So, all looking well. I'm coming back. I've got 40% now, but I'm coming back anyway. We're 370 meters out. I should see, you can see it in the distance. This is why I put the black on the bottom of mine because in Belfast we have always cloudy day and the black shows up far more against the clouds than the white drone. So it's very close now and it's straight line. Yep, going really well. Directly overhead. So we'll just watch it coming back down again and hopefully it does the same and lands exactly where it should. So there we go. Don't think you could get much better than that. It's done really well. I'm really enjoying flying the Xeno. It's brilliant for the amount of money that we pay for this. 
and I can definitely recommend it now with all these updates to anyone that wants a good drone. It's got a good camera. It has, it's very stable now, doing exactly what it's meant to. So hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, please like, subscribe to the channel. I usually do updates, videos and anything else drone related. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.